Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are on this channel for the first time, my content is mostly fragrance reviews, fashion and lifestyle videos. So I do hope you find that interesting enough for you to stay. All you have to do is click the red subscribe button, make sure it turns gray and join the family. I also want to acknowledge my returning subscribers. Thank you so much guys for always supporting me. I appreciate you coming here all the time. Thank you so much. Um, do follow me on Instagram. I go by the name C Chronicles on Instagram. I'm going to put it on either side of the screen. Um, that is my Instagram handle. I go by the name C Chronicles. Give me a follow. Let me know you've come from here through the messages and then I'll give you a follow back. Today we're doing a fragrance review um, and it's going to be a Latafa. I've had a couple of requests uh, coming from you guys um, asking if I could do this one. This is Ka Said Al Sultan. Okay, Ka Said Al Sultan. This is not a sponsored video. This is just me bringing you this uh, fragrance review because of how you know many comments I got in my comment section from about a month or two ago. People asking me to do Ka Said Al Sultan by Latafa to review it. So this is the box. Okay, this is the box. This is how it looks. Um, nice, right? nicely done. And then this is the bottle. Okay, I like that it has that. It's imprinted. So I think there must be a sticker here at the back that reflects inside the bottle and it looks like that gold and black or black and gold whichever way and that's how it looks and it's got that uh velvety thing there which is really nice for the tougher i think they go all the way so i'm gonna spray it um let me spray it on i was actually gonna spray it on the box but let me spray it on this uh tester paper and then i'll tell you my thoughts okay that's the atomizer it it, it it's quite generous but it's like a it's it's like a mist like atomizer okay so okay already this is room filling i'm just shaking it here so that it settles down a little bit but what i can tell you offset there i couldn't get the notes for this but i in my testing because i've been testing this uh, since morning i think i do get a ginger here it is like a ginger forward fragrance but it does have uh, some spices in there a citrus that's also forward there the citrus comes across as a bit sour bitter uh, it could be the grapefruit um something along them lines because it is a a bitter uh, citrus well and there's a bit of tobacco and uh, probably some cedar that is what i think is a not composition here um and also based off the fact that it does have share some similarities with uh, uh you know a fragrance that i'm going to tell you about obviously uh, you know what this is probably duping and now it opens up with a fresh spicy ginger and sour citrus like i said that that is the top it's quite aromatic very peppery as well in nature so you're gonna get that and then there's something in here that feels like an obvious lemongrass it is quite damp in nature so the dampness here feels like it's lemongrass but it could be virtue this kind of smells to me as you know uh, a, a fragrance that is heavy in a uh, vertiver and i think the vertiver here is it's quite a heavy vetiver that i get uh, from here this is obviously masculine in nature for the people that want to know it is quite masculine uh, if you smelled a lot of masculine fragrances they have this kind of dna and this is where i'm coming from with this masculineness however like i always say you wear what you want to wear but i wouldn't i I wouldn't put this on the unisex factor i would actually say it is masculine to me it leans uh you know more like how the men's fragrances are done so if you're a woman and you were just attracted to this it's something that i need to get out of the way but it's quite quite uh, crowd pleasing as well in as much as it is that masculine scent it has a dna that is kind of very familiar with a lot of noses out there so it is not a unique DNA, it's a DNA which you've probably smelled from someone before or you've been in a space and you've smelled this. This to me is not uh, too unique. There is a cardamom here and I think this is preventing this uh, from becoming a sweet scent. I cannot classify this as sweet. I get more of a sour, a bitterness than a sweetness. Okay, um, yeah, definitely a lemongrass feel. Very green in nature as well and that spiciness as well. So it is something, it is definitely on the spicy side. So if you like those fragrances that are spicy dries down a bit woodsy uh, that is what i can say about this fragrance it is purported to be uh, in the same fragrance family as dolce and gabbana uh, the one and that is for men um i haven't put my nose on that but based on um uh, uh, uh based on the note uh, uh composition that i got of dolce and gabbana the one there is a bit of some similarities here but this one um is very spicy i wouldn't put this as a heavy scent this to me falls under you know the freshes as though you've come out of the shower kind of freshness uh, although it does have a little bit of some depth there there is a tobacco that i smell here as well and this tobacco gives like a 
uh, hay-like feel to the fragrance, okay? And this you get in the dry down. There is a tobacco thing coming across here. So yeah, it, it, it does give it like, a, you know, that, 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 that the smell of hay, but it's only faint as well. Uh, really a beautiful scent. I think it's also versatile in terms of um, what occasion this suits. I think this is versatile. This is a fragrance this, uh, which I may, I will not place say an age to this fragrance because I feel if you're a man, this might ap appeal across the board, you know, from youth, you know, for somebody who's youthful to a more mature person. Uh, this can also easily become, this can also be also easily be a suit and tie kind of fragrance but at the same time it has that fun flirty playfulness uh nature to it because of that citrus uh although the citrus is bitter it does have also a bit of some freshness there so it comes across as a freshy okay it to me it is a bit of a freshy so you know for that uh i think in as much as it is versatile you can wear it for any occasion i think this is one that's going to shine a lot more in the sun than it would uh say in the cold weather i just uh think that because it quickly becomes again a skin scent you know it um once i sprayed it here it was quite room filling but that is also a bit on the temporary side because after about 30 minutes you know it was staying close to the skin um yeah that that's that's what i felt it is a fragrance that's a bit loud in the opening but quickly also mellows down to become something uh so close to the skin fresh uh, but it does keep that masculinity so there's no point in time where this turns a bit pretty or anything like that it just keeps that uh you know uh, uh, um masculine dna or at least the dna that you'd associate with a lot of masculine fragrances i get uh from this one so yeah it is definitely a a, a, a decent scent uh in terms of longevity uh unfortunately this was one that because it became a skin scent, I'm going to put it on the five, six hour mark, uh, depending on how many sprays you do, guys, because I always say this, when it comes to longevity, it depends on the sprays, okay? There's some people that will spray one, two, three, four, and they're done, and then they expect beast mode. In most cases, it doesn't work like that. In terms of longevity, it depends on the number of sprays. But let's say you're a person who sprays about eight sprays or so. I got about five, six hours of this fragrance, but it could be a fragrance that pushes a little bit further if you wore this in the sun um, and if you if you oversprayed it, uh, you know, a little bit. The quality of it is perfect. I think the quality is great. I don't get an alcohol uh, opening from this. However, I do get that, uh, you know, in your face, uh, you know, uh, bitter, bitter situation that is carrying or, the, or that is carrying a ginger so if you put your nose deep on this you will get a ginger and that ginger is quite spicy so it is on the aromatic side to my nose it doesn't have a middle eastern touch to it it falls more uh you know in the uh, uh western uh, nice you know the way the western fragrances are done that's what i get more than a, a, a middle eastern fragrance so for those people that want to know does this lean middle eastern does it have oud no i don't get oud from this i get uh you know to my nose a fragrance that feel so uh, Western in nature. So if you're the kind of person that likes that, or if you want to buy this because you feel uh, that because Latafa does Middle Eastern fragrances, you're going to get a feel of that. Unfortunately, you're not going to get that from this. You're going to get a DNA that is a bit on the common side, uh, but not bad smelling at all but a bit on the common side as in i don't see this one being an ultra wow because it is one of those you know uh, uh, uh scent profiles that has been done a couple of times before yeah that is what i had for you guys kasaid al sultan okay kasaid al sultan and this is by latafa this is not a paid promotion this is just me as a fragrance if you are bringing fragrances uh based off your request i had about four or five requests for this fragrance you know and i thought okay let me bring it there for my guys out there that like you know uh that always say oh why don't you bring a uh, masculine fragrances from time to time here's one for you guys this to me leans more masculine than it does anything i wouldn't even class it as unisex this to me is masculine however if you're that kind of lady that likes those kind of fragrances then you may want to try this one c chronicles is my name thank you so much for joining me today i hope you found this video helpful uh look at the bottle guys it's quite gigantic quite decent um this i'm gonna have to pass on i think i'm gonna give this to my son or something because to me it is too masculine in nature that vertigo is a bit on the you know it's a, it's a bit on the it's too much for me for my nose but it is a uh it's okay it's an okay scent for me uh, uh and it, I, i'm pretty sure a lot of guys will like this like this uh, video if you like it let's meet in the comment section guys let me know what you uh, think of this fragrance if you have it or you know or if if you have it and my description was spot, spot on please do let me know in the comment section and uh, turn on post notifications that way you will be notified anytime i upload a video like share and remember guys smelling good is a form
of good manners. Cheers.